Hey guys, welcome back to Habit on Mash Fishing YouTube channel. Today, I'm here at a catch and release pond, and I've seen tons of fish. There's actually about a 10 pound carp swimming around, tons of panfish, tons of bass, tons of life in general, and I'm hoping I'm gonna land some fish. Basically what the goal for today is, I'm gonna put on a lure, take a lap around the pond, and then if I don't get hits, I'm gonna try a new lure. So we're gonna see what lures the ticket at this catch and release pond that looks so, so good. So I'll just show you real fast. These are the signs, no skating or swimming. Catch and release fishing only. A PA fishing license is required. I don't need one yet because I am only 14. So uh, I'm gonna try on a trout magnet to start it off because that's my that's my OG and see if we can get you anything. Hey guys, I'm bringing up here. I got the golden head with a little white flavor, white color. Never go wrong with white. The color of the jig head doesn't matter. I prefer anything. I don't like the neons a ton. That's the water's murky. But my first cast with the trout magnet. Oh, I got a bunch of fish by it. About eight fish by my lure. Picking at it. I'm gonna keep walking around and see what we can get. These casts down the weeds might might be the business. Finally getting back to the ultralights after. We down at the shore where we're using those big poles. Trout magnet's not doing it yet. I'm actually really shocked. I thought trout magnet would be killing. Oh my. Dude, there's that's just like a four pounder. There's like two four pounders. Oh, I might have to switch to a Sanko. I haven't even gotten a blue kill yet. Not the lure. Oh, there's a ma there's the carp. Massive carp. It's probably 10, 15 pounds. But nothing they eat. I'm shocked. Guys, look at this fish. It's like it's a massive carp. I'm of course not gonna eat the trout and I do have some corn. Okay, so I'll get back to you guys. When I figure out what lure I'm gonna switch out to next. And a frog just jumped in and scared me. But besides that, no fish on a trout magnet. I know once I figure them out, it's gonna be easy. Figuring them out, it's hard. So I'll get back to you guys again. Once, switch up baits and find what they're liking. Okay guys, next I'm gonna go with the Yoto, little Yoto worm. See how it works, gonna be targeting bass. This bait. Just gotta rig this up, so just gonna be Texas rigging it. Okay, we're looking just like that. Texas rig. I see a bass. I don't know how bass be able to resist this. Okay, guys, third bait. Oh, I don't know what I'm on now. Fourth, third bait. Little power worm. Never fails. Will this be the day? Fish won't even eat a power worm. Oh. One had it. They had it again. Got him that time. Oh, like first, fish first fish of the day. Bluegill. I think I found the ticket for the bluegills. I know what they want to eat for sure. First fish of the day, a small bluegill. On the, on the power wheel. Pink color. I prefer a brown, but the pink seems to be getting attention instantly. They're on it fast, guys. I just hooking them is another 
There's another story. There's one. Second fish of the day. Oh, I found the business, guys. Found what they like. This is a very, very slim bluegill. Not a new species. There he goes. This did attract a bass. I did see a bass. Got him. There we go. Largemouth bass. Second species of the day. See, it's that simple, guys. Find out what they're... Oh. Find out what they're eating. And then... Gotta get... Fell a little bit down here. That's the... First decent fish in the first bass of the day. Toss him so he doesn't get stuck in these weeds. There he goes. There you go. You find out the bait they're eating, and you catch them nonstop. They're not interested once it hits the bottom, though. Keep walking and see how much more we can catch. A lot of bass sitting here. Oh, that's a big bass, too. No! No, there's a big bass here, guys. He's right over it. Guys, this bass doesn't want to eat the bait until a bluegill eats the bait. It's crazy. If a bluegill eats it, he'll be all over it. He has that, I'm the only one that's going to eat in this pond and no one else is going to eat mentality. Oh, I hit him on the head with it. Yeah, he's not in the mood. But I'm going to keep fishing. I definitely found the lure that they're hit. At least. Another bluegill, guys. There we go. It's the fourth fish, I think, of the day. Not a new species, but I'll take it. There we go. Fish are all over it. There he is. Another one. Killing him now, guys. It's just that simple as finding out what they want. Another one on the pink worm. There's a bass. Here we go, guys. Another bass. One literally just took the tail off and then this bass got it. There we go. Second largemouth bass of the day. Nothing but a seven inch or but a fish. If you guys can actually see had a fish bite the tail off of my bait. Let's see if it still works though. Oh, there's a bite. Yep, still working. There's another one. Bluegill. Sorry, little guy. Another bluegill. It's that simple, finding out what bait they're liking. Once you find out what they're eating, it's hard not to catch them. Guys, now we're on the final mission of the day. Catch one of these monster grass carp. So I'm heading to my dad's truck to get some corn, and we're gonna try some of these giants. Holy God, guys. He's a big fish. He doesn't want to fight. He hasn't. Look at this. That's a grass car. You gonna get wet or no? I don't want to. I'll get wet. Can you do both? Yeah. Might be able to. Just hold the rod. 
Yeah, you take that. Fight a little bit. Oh, there he goes. That, yeah, he knows that he's hooked. Bad. Here, take it. Take the bullet. Guys, this is a huge grass carp. Right about this bench. Don't I don't want him around that rock. Don't make sure your drag's not played. See it when he's up like that, it's heavy. He's gonna freak out whenever he sees the net. This is a big thing. I can't. You do? Come close, dude. I think he's gonna run as soon as he sees me again. <laughs> when he sees the net, he freaks out. Don't worry, dude, we're gonna release you. Okay, try to print and walk him back this way again or not? I can, he's right here. Okay, try to drag him right up onto the bank and I can maybe net him from the top. Dude, he's, you gotta get him now, dude, he's right there. He was sitting. I'm not gonna get wet. Okay. I will. But I'm not going to get wet. Not today. He's trying to spit it, I think. Welcome back this way. Where you can actually get in. Don't come this way. He's trying to spit the hook, guys. You want the net so you can go in and try yeah. to hook him? Mm -hmm. Let him go. Let him go. What? He's not gonna want to come if I have the net. But just keep him down. Okay, guys, I got my shoes off. Don't don't force him at all. Don't get him in that. You're good. Perfect. Stop. You get on this rock behind him. Yeah. And I'll try to keep his face away from you. Don't. You want to get on there now? I was gone. Like a tree. Dude, I'm not gonna be able to stand. This bottom's gonna slip right out. Okay. Yeah, we got a little pot to get him up here. Gotta get him up here. Let him go, let him go, let him go. I'm not holding him at all, dude. I got no drag uh, on him at all. You don't? Nope. He'll tire himself out. He will? Oh, yeah. He won't have energy to keep running. He gets mad when he sees the net. Mm -hmm. See, I want to try to pull him up in this landing area, but the problem is... He'll break. The line is too late. Yeah. Let him go, let him go. He's going to keep doing that. Guys, so what he's doing is, whenever he sees the net, he takes a run for it. Get the net in the water. You get down in the net in the water, see if I can bring a break to it. Okay. Okay, can I get it lower in the water? It's muddy, you might not be able to see it. Nope, nope, leave him deep in the water. Leave him in the water. Nope, nope, don't go to him. Let me come to you. Hit him. Yes! Got him. Nope, 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 I don't have him yet. Oh, yes. That's a big fish. New species, grass carp. He's good. There we go. My first ever grass carp. It was heavy. It's probably 15 pounds. Ultralight and four pound test. It's a beautiful fish. And yep. I think that's a good way to end the video. So hope you guys like, subscribe. And comment for some more uh, carp content.